Hi, I'm Teacher Im and I create videos to help my students score better in their STPM Maths D paper and I hope my videos can be helpful for you too. Well, today I'm going to talk about the past year question 2014 question 8. Okay, this is actually an extended uh, video from my previous live class on Maclaurin series. Okay, so stay on. Well, for this question, in 2014 question 8 in STPM, it is a long question because it is a 15 marks question. As I told you in my tuition free online class the other day, this uh, type of question, Maclaurin series, they actually have simple question and they have hard question. And I already explained them quite well, I hope so. Then uh, if you have not seen the video, I hope you can click on it. All right. So in this question, it is uh there are four parts of it, and there's a lot of things that you need to do uh on this question, and I will break this question into a few parts for you to understand it better. Well, in the first part of the question, we have to first determine what type of Maclaurin uh theorem or the standard series which we are going to use to solve this question so if you when you look at the question they ask you they gave you an equation and they ask you to derive okay because they they ask you to show the differentiation of uh double prime and first prime so that is the first derivative the second derivative and the first derivative and they want to show that all of this is zero so which means to start this we need to differentiate the equation that they gave you, which is gx. Okay, so let's differentiate it first. And we will go on and differentiate the equation, right? That is your g difference first derivative. And then you will get, every time you derive the equation, you will get one mark. That is the first mark. And then we are going to simplify this. Okay, so make sure you rearrange it carefully and change it before you do the second derivative. Inside my uh, live class, I've already told you, try your best to simplify before you start deriving again. Why? Because if you don't, later, if you have a big equation like this and you want to do differentiation on it, it is going to use up you most of your time. Anyway, in this question, they already gave you a clue. The equation can actually be simplified until you see g double prime and g prime only. So, which means we are going to simplify it as it is. So, this part over here is actually our gx. So, I'm going to change it into the gx. So, this is the, our first derivative done. So, once I have done the first derivative, how many times I'm going to do the der derivative? Uh, for to prove it, of course, we are going to do only two derivatives to prove the first part of the question. But for the second part of the question, if you look at the question, it needs until power of 4, which means you need to derive until the fourth derivative. Okay, let's continue. Right, so the first derivative, uh, the answer is there. Alright, so next one is we are going to do our second derivative and we are going to... Uh, do the derivative very very carefully and it, all this needs practice okay so please practice and if you are still not good in uh, derivative of exponents derivative of trigo please uh, dig into my videos i already have a, full, a few videos on how to derive uh, trigonometry and how to derive exponents all right so this one is the second derivative and you will get one marks for it and we will move on to to simplify this second derivative okay so i will simplify it by applying of here if you notice this part over here this big part over here can be simplified into g prime x and 1 over 2 gx from the first derivative and this one of course is from our question so i can simplify it and what is left is only g hmm, all the trigos have already gone how magical is that 
Okay, so there you will get your one marks. Okay, to further move on, we need the second derivative because we have yet to prove this part over here because that is the final one marks over there. So I need to simplify the equation. Okay, I need to simplify the equation until I can get whatever they gave inside the question here. So I will simplify it further on and move it to look exactly the same and I will write there shown. Once I get that, I will get the next answer marks. Right, next. In the next part of the question, they say hence. Hence means they want you to use whatever they ask you to prove or show to answer the next part of the question, which is show that the Maclaurin series can be expanded into power of 4 into this answer. So how are we going to do that? Well, of course, we are going to go like continue the fourth derivative. Okay, until the fourth derivative, are we going to use the trigo? No, nope, I'm going to use directly from here. Okay, so for the second derivative, turning into the third derivative, that will be triple prime, right? Take triple prime and then the first derivative will transform to second derivative and the uh, gx itself will transform to first derivative. Easy, right? So if I want to do the fourth derivative, I will start from here, okay? I will directly come from here and I will do the fourth derivative and that will give me one mark. Alright, so if you go and expand from the big one, then you will waste a lot of time for just that one mark. Okay, so make sure, follow the guide from the question. Now that we have done that, we need to find this answer, right? So let's get the answer out. So we are going to need our x equals to 0 because basically they ask you to derive means they want you to use the theorem so we are going to use the theorem to solve this right so we are going to put it in one by one all right put it in one by one and make sure you find the zeros of the all the equations so just do carefully okay do you need to write out all this most of the time the student will ask well it is not necessary to write out all this uh, and the writing will just make sure uh, when you write it out okay just make sure it is right because as you write this out it will waste you some kind of a, uh, some of your time but if you press it straight away into the calculator you make sure you will get it correct but anyway if you look at the question here okay why I write it out? Because if you look at the question here, I want the square root. So which means I need the equation in the format of the square root. Okay, so I cannot do that by pressing the calculator. If I press the calculator, most probably I will get my answer in decimal places. That's why I fill it up nicely. But you do not need to do much. You fill it up the first one, the second one. And then the third one, you can directly use whatever you have because you already second derivative, third derivative, and fourth derivative basically refers to the first, the first uh, of the zeros and the first derivative answer. Okay, so basically you will use that and apply it in. And like I say, you need to do this fast because it is only one mark over there. Okay, sometimes in the question, they will give like at least uh, for here, this case is one, two, three, four, five, five elements. Sometimes they will write at least three correct one marks and what all correct one mark. Okay, so you just need to be careful of the marks that is given inside the exam. Okay, that's why they gave you the marks at the side. All right, all right, we have not gained our full marks yet. So let's continue. The next thing is you need to fill in the Maclaurin's theorem uh, list. Okay, so we fill in carefully. Previously, I already said you need to make sure you fill in the theorem one by one, including those with the zeros, because that is where they gave you one marks. Okay, once you get it in carefully and right, so just adjust until you get the answer that you need and there is where your final marks is okay that is only question a let's do question b ok 
A. When you do question B, make sure you label. But here I didn't label B equals to. But you make sure you have to label your question. If you have part one, part two, part three, make sure you write question A, part one. Question B, part one. Okay. For example, question B got two parts. Please write your answer B and then part one, part two. Right. Make sure you label your answer carefully. Okay. In this second part. They ask you to find this expression in exceeding power of x power of 3. So which means just now we already have the derivatives. We are going to put in carefully. So we have, they needed until power of 3, right? But our calculation just now is until power of 4. So please be careful. Take note of what they ask you inside the question. It is actually a trap. They can minus mark if you have extras. Alright. So please make sure you do what is asked for. Right. So what you are going to have here, I'm going to do some adjustment because the quest the equation that they gave you is different from what we have. We only have gx, but they gave you this. So what you are going to do is you're going to bring that one plus two x up, and then you tell you sure you can tell that this one is a binomial expansion oh yes they do test you sam1 question in sam2 okay so what we are going to do is we are going to apply this binomial expansion which you have to memorize the formula is not given in the formula list and this is the binomial expansion formula Okay, you have to memorize it and then you have to fill in the place for x is 2x so the place for x here and here and here you have to make sure you fill it with 2x okay if you notice over here i have i only bring over x and x squared i did not bring x power of 4 why because in the question i need x power of 3 so x power of 4 is exceeding what i need so i do and anyway when i expand this binomial expansion there will still be x at uh, in that column over there so i do not need to bring too many so i will save my time and only write until x power of 2 so this binomial expansion that is from sam1 if you have not seen uh, learn about it you have to go and revise your same one okay if you have already forgotten but that is the formula so you just fill in carefully the n is the power and the x is the one that they gave you uh, in front behind the uh, one okay so you fill in very very carefully once it is done then you start to simplify first remember simplify first before you expand right so i will go on and simplify first and uh, uh, when you fill in the binomial formula, you will get one max. Okay, so I will simplify it nicely. Okay, so that is my simplified form. So I will notice it has until power of 2. So I can expand this carefully. So I will expand it nicely. So after you simplify, you get one max. And I will expand it nicely. And voila, my, my uh, expansion until x power of 3 is out. Okay, once the expansion until x power of 3 is out, I will get one more marks for my question. So, three marks are done. Finally, finally is the last part of the question, question B. So, what you are going to do is you're going to set it in very, very carefully. Okay, set it in very, very carefully and you will get something like this. Okay, so you will get the gx over x for the limit. So you have to bring in the dot dot dot, don't forget about that. Okay, and then you simplify it. And when you fill it in with the correct information, you will get one max, remember. And then you will simplify it. And voila, the answer is out. It is equals to, if you put almost equals to, then you will get minus marks. Why it is equals to? Because behind here, when x equals to zero, all the one with the x behind all will disappear because it is multiplied by zero okay so which means you have a solid answer and that is where your last marks come in okay if you like what i you see here please give me a like and i'll love to see you again in my next video 
see you again. Bye. And I hope that you study hard because mathematics is hard but it's not impossible. All question has its own solution. Okay, bye. Thank you.